Hey guys, uh, welcome to the new video. So today this video we will explain how to, to activate the simulation uh, module for the KL5. Um, so KL is a program for the um, ARM based microcontroller and um, it has you, you can have the, the chance to, to, to use it for uh, making a simulation without having the chip itself. Okay, let's quickly start creating new project. I'll call new project. Project just like this. And for the microcontroller, I will use something I quite familiar with. Seven four um, VGTX. At the end of the video, I will explain why I've chosen this one specially. And here for the board, I'm using just the core and the compiler. This is has nothing related to the uh, activation of the module, but just to, to have simplest project ever. Let me add here the, the main file. Main. Good. And let's put a simple, very simple code. So int main void to start something and let's put return zero for this one great so here we have the program let's save it okay just one warning good so before we start any simulation first of all we have to go for the um, target option and we go to the debug tab where we have to change from um, using the real driver to the simulator. And this will uh, correct, will go, uh, the, your simulation will use your simulation for the simulator. Um, one advice just uh, to, to go ahead, always be careful about the uh, speed of the crystal that is here. This is a generic one and you have to, to read the data sheet of the microcontroller. This is on, not always correct. Um, for this uh, specific um, microcontroller I have chosen, it should be 16. So it has this issue with many other microcontrollers. Just careful when you, you start your, your, your programming. Okay, let's go to the series thing. So now we, we have our program set up. And to, to go in the debugging mode, we go to this, we push this button. And we do have this famous message like access violation at this address, no read permission. Uh, this is quite unfortunate, but um, there is a quite easy solution to, to, to go with it. So let's get out of the debug mode. So what you have to do is uh, just let me open, you just need a notepad, put map, and so this microcontroller go f um, has a 32-bit uh, address, so it goes from 400 and then 000, 000, 000 to, I'm sorry, it's exact decimal addresses, good and it goes to 0x4 and then 0, 0 and then f f f f f and good and finally you just read write read and write but when you save it let's save it in somewhere save as in document let's the name is not important. Kale, I put Kale STM as I'm uh, programming STM 32. But the extension is very important. It's dot ini. Okay, save. Let's close it. So, um, and now when we go back to the debug, debug option here, and in this initializing initialization file you go to the uh, document 
and OK. So if you start again the debug mode and you go, you have the read write permission. So now you can use also, you can check the system parameter. For example, here we do not have any uh, parameter, but you can go, for example, to the EPIO, check whatever, how is the, the IO pins are going. Also, system control, you can check all the, the system parameters and make also simulation. In the next video we will see how we will manage this debug mode more in details. So uh, stay tuned. Ah yeah almost forgot. Yeah um, I have chosen the STM uh, 32F4 because this is th that was the microcontroller microcontroller used for the uh, this body STM uh, discovery. Um, it costs around 15 to 16 bo boxes. Uh, I'm not sure exactly about the price, but uh, it's quite cheap compared to the performance that it provides. It has around, uh, it, it can reach 164 MHz uh, clock speed, and it has quite a lot of um, um, one uh, megabyte of RAM. So it's quite, it's quite, quite good um, board. I quite advise you to use it with a kale. That's all for this video. Thank you a lot and uh, stay tuned. Bye!